Hello guys and welcome in a new video of the TTL3 channel. Today I will demonstrate the REST API in PanOS and explain to you how to do an API call to create address object on your firewall. So let's have a look to the usual REST API request and we'll use the curl command in this video to demonstrate it. First you have to provide the HTTP method you want to use and this is a huge difference with XML where the action is provided in the URL with a set or delete. Here, the HTTP method defines what you want to do. For instance, with an HTTP GET, you can read object or policies. With an HTTP POST, you can create them. And with an HTTP DELETE, you can remove them. For your information, other methods are available to do much more than that. We then have the firewall IP or host name, followed by the OS version, and we will use 9.0 in this video. Next, the resource URI reflecting the object we are dealing with. You have a few examples below, but honestly, I strongly suggest you refer to the built-in REST API doc when you are searching for the exact syntax. This doc is available via the following URL, HTTPS, followed by the firewall IP, followed by slash REST API doc. Right after the question mark, you will have the parameters. In this section, you will find information such as the object name or its location, it can be VCs for firewall or device group for panorama. And finally, the API key to authenticate the API call with the firewall. I am now in my Linux shell and the first thing I need to do is to generate my API key. I've explained in detail how to do that in episode 4, so feel free to review it if needed. Now that the API key is ready, let's craft the REST API request to create an address object. So what do we have here? First, the curl parameters minus k to avoid SSL errors and minus x post because if you remember well, object creation required the HTTP POST method with the PanOS REST API. Next, the firewall IP followed by the version 9.0 in my case, followed by the parameters. This is a standalone firewall where object will be created in the default vsys, which is vsys1. Also, in this particular case, my object name will be my network. The last bit of this request is the API key that was generated a couple of seconds ago. We then have the curl minus D knob for data with a JSON envelope containing the data I want to push for my object creation. Again, you should always refer to the built-in documentation to find out the exact syntax of your parameters. If you observe carefully, you will also see a pied GQ at the end of the command. GQ is a very nice little binary that displays JSON output in a cosmetic way. So not mandatory, but definitely a nice to have for verbose output. So before we execute this API call, let me open the web UI of my firewall and visualize the address object menu. We now have the scripting terminal at the top and the firewall web UI at the bottom. I'm now executing the API request. So far, so good. Now let's refresh the web UI. And our object is right here at the top. So congratulations for your first REST API call on PanOS. So that's it for this REST API introduction on PanOS everyone. I hope you enjoyed it and please share and subscribe if you liked it. 